Good morning. Today's December 28th. I'm Sean Galloway for Carroll County Remembers. I'm sitting here with Denise Russ. Uh, thanks for joining us today and you. sharing your memories on Carroll County. Thank you. Um, what year were you born in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, 1951. 1951. Mm -hmm. And have you been in Carroll County that entire time? No, I was in Carroll County as a child and when I uh, finished second grade, my grandfather passed away. Mm. And so my father decided to move the family out of Carroll County into Howard County where my grandmother lived and we moved in with her because she couldn't stay by herself. Okay. Um, then I grew up with my teenage years in Howard County and when I, after I got married in uh, 1970, um, my husband and I came back out to Carroll County um, and mainly because we couldn't afford the prices that were in Howard County is for houses. Mm -hmm. um, they were very expensive and that's when Columbia was first starting to develop and so we decided to look into Carroll County and we found a nice little rancher in Woodbine and so we purchased it. Okay um, and and that was in the 70s you said? Yes. In the mm -hmm. and, and you've been in Carroll County ever since yes. then? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. 35 years. 35 years. Mm -hmm. And ha have all your jobs been in Carroll County? Uh, no. Um, I had some in Howard County. Mm -hmm for a couple of years, but um, I would say probably the last maybe 25, 30 years, yes, it's been in Carroll County, yes. Okay. Uh, now you've had, you had two kids. Yes. And we just talked to your daughter. Yes. Um, one of them. Uh, what was it like uh, raising them? Um, both of my children were very good kids. They never got in any trouble. We never had any issues with drugs or or um, criminal activity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they were both very good kids That's and they still are, yes. Yep. Um, they had goals that they wanted to pursue and they did it. Um, both of them did it. They both received their degrees and um, they've been become very successful adults. Okay. And uh, do you, do you uh, attribute your, the style of you raising them to that? Or you think they, it was just more so of them making good decisions? Uh, probably a combination of both. Mm -hmm. um, although they had it in them, they, they knew what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so it was good decisions on their part. Um, and of course, my husband and I tried to guide them and we were very supportive, mm -hmm. you know, throughout their years growing up. Okay. Now you moved back to Carroll County in the 70s, like you said. Right. Um, how's it changed for you in that time? Well, when we first moved it, um, into Carroll County, we had uh, purchased a small rancher. Mm -hmm and we lived there for a couple of years and uh, my husband decided that he needed more property. So we started looking around in the county and we found an older farmhouse on some acreage and we purchased that. We're still living in that same house. We've been there 35 years, um, but it was very rural. Um, we used to, I remember one morning when I had left to go to the store and the kids told me that there were cows loose on the front lawn um, <laughs> from somebody's farm behind us. <laughs> Um, and it, it was always very rural. My, my son used to um, go out with the neighborhood kid and they would run through the woods or the fields and they would see like wild turkeys and mm -hmm. pheasants and you know we saw a lot of wildlife. Mm -hmm. um, the pheasants are gone now. I don't see much of the pheasants anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the um, development you know it's really developed right. um, from when we first moved out. 140 almost reminds me of uh, Reiser's Town Road at this point with mm -hmm. so much traffic, right. but that was before they, they built the 795 and, you know, um, it's definitely more traffic and more development. What, what, um, how was the life adjusting to all that wildlife? Because I know my mother would be freaked out if she saw pheasants and cows <laughs> running around. <laughs> how um, did you how did you deal with that? It was cool. I've always been a country girl and, uh, you know, it didn't bother me. Only when the snakes would come up to the front door and mm. I'd be you know, trying to hit them with an ant iron to get them out of the house. But, um, you know, we, I was just used to it. As a child, you know, we were, I was brought up on a small farm. We had goats and, and chickens and um, a friend of ours had a big farm down the road and we would go, I would spend a lot of time down there. And she used to have, uh, raise chickens and would have a big, um, I don't know if you called it a hen house or whatever, but they would have small baby peeps, mm -hmm. um, you know, in there. And I used to love going down and playing with them, mm -hmm. you know, as a child. So it's the life, the, as far as the, the wildlife, it's, I was used to it, you mm -hmm. know. The only thing that we didn't like was when we would go into the field to pick corn, we used to have our own garden. And my husband used to do a corn raid at night with his brother and they would go up into the corn fields and 
pick corn off and then we would cook it and they would eat it like oh, late wow. at night. Mm -hmm. But when he would go up there, the pheasants would be <laughs> in the corn and when he would be walking through the corn stalks, the pheasants would fly out and scare the daylights <laughs> out of him. But it was, you know, it's, it was just rural country, uh -huh. you know, and, and I think the kids, I think the kids enjoyed it. We knew it was a safe environment for them and mm -hmm. that's, that was another reason why we moved out here. Okay. Um, at that time, how was it different from Carroll, I mean, from Howard County other than the expensive homes? Um, well, Howard County was growing like uh, crazy with Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they were, the building was unbelievable there. They were putting so many houses up, so many medical buildings and, and office buildings and um, the population was growing, you know, exceedingly fast. Um, maybe not quite as quickly as, as Carroll County. And so it, it was a lot of change there. Um, the prices, as I said, the prices of the housing went up mm -hmm. um, and it was busier. And um, even though all our relatives, like my folks and my husband folks, were still in Harrod County, we, we chose to move out to um, Carroll because, um, you know, we just, we liked the area. We just thought it was pretty, it was rural, and it was a good place to be. Mm -hmm. um, that, now, your husband is a small business owner in the area and that, for some time. Uh, what's right. his business? He has a small gardening gift shop down at the corner of Taylorsville and uh, 26. Mm -hmm. and, um, when he first started out, he used to carry a lot of shrubbery, a lot of little trees and plants and azalea bushes and that kind of thing. But as the years went on, we found out that we couldn't compete with Kmart or Walmart or um, Lowe's mm -hmm. as far as the shrubbery was concerned. So he decided to cut back on that and uh, pretty much um, look or go more toward the gift end or the gift items, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and he's done, he's been very, very successful the last 30 years. Okay. Um, you know, the recession has kind of put a little bit of a dent in us, but of course it's done it to everybody. Right, everybody, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, have you, ha have you, have you ever been a part of his business? Have you ever like helped out or? Oh, yes. Or been, <laughs> been an employee or? Yes. Have um, you always done your own thing? No, well, um, Basically, I stayed employed away from the store mm -hmm. because my husband wanted someone to be with the children. Um, and he said he put in so many long hours that he felt that somebody should be at home with the kids, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I continued to work full time and then I was home with the children and he would, he would work really crazy hours, 12, 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it worked out. It worked, you know, it was successful and, and we pulled the kids into the business. I mean, they learned how to, to deal with customers and deal with the public and learned how to make change and um, learned how to stock and, um, you know, just the basic things of a retail outlet. Um, and I still, to this point, help my husband, especially at Christmas time. Um, I'll go down there on the weekends and help him out, mm -hmm. you know, when he, whenever he needs it. So, yeah, I'm still involved in it, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very much so still involved. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, what, what, when we talk about your career path a little bit, what kind of jobs have you held down other than the um, helping your husband out? Mostly, um, mostly uh, receptionist administrative assistant positions. Mm -hmm. um, I worked for Craft World, which was a, uh, a craft company over in New Windsor for about two years, um, and then they were sold out. So I left there and went with the city of Westminster, and I was there for 22 and a half years. Wow. Um, and after that, then I came here to CMC. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been basically office or business um, help, mm -hmm. you know, at the front desk or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, but I've enjoyed it, and I meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. different people, mm -hmm. and I enjoy dealing with a, with the public and having the contact with the public. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it worked out fine. All right. Now, as as a, doing a lot of administrative and receptionist work, you have to have a, a pretty good attitude to do that, especially to do it as long as you have. <laughs> how do you how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> um, you put a smile on your face and make everybody feel special. You don't always feel like coming in and and being, you know. Uh, happy-go-lucky and, and everything is wonderful, but um, most of the time I find that if you talk to people and, and you give them a, a little attention that they, you generally get it back in response. Um, you know, they're usually pretty, pretty um, friendly and they want to talk to you and they want to talk about themselves. So that's how you can kind of get them to open up. Mm -hmm. Now when you, when you look at some of the events, I, like I asked your daughter earlier, 
Um, what, were, what are some of your favorite things to do in Carroll County? Uh, go to the parades or, you know, is there any one in particular event that sticks out in your mind that you like to do? Um, I have gone to the parades and my husband and I will go like to a little local carnival. We used to take the children there when they were younger. Um, and I would say probably that's it. I mean, uh, we, we've done, I've, I've participated in a lot of the different city functions that went on, you know, during the years when I was employed with the City of Westminster. We always helped out at Fall Fest. That was always a good um, event to go to. Um, and, um, you know, I would just say just the basic things. Some, you know, participate in, we go to a lot of the Carroll County events also too, like at the Farm Museum or, mm -hmm. you know, local things that are going on, Apple, Apple Butter Festivals right. and that kind of thing, okay. yeah. All right. Well, Denise, is there anything that you, we may have missed that you want to uh, throw out there for anybody to know? Uh, uh, just that Carroll County is a great place to live and to work and bring your children up in. And it's safe and it's a beautiful county. And um, I've never regretted living here. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Okay. And thank I appreciate you. you taking part in our project. Thank you, Sean. All right.